Hi, welcome to the demo of the MobileLife plugin theme switcher. This demo will basically go over a brief overview of how to use the plugin and how to create naming conventions in local styles. As you can see, brands 1, 2, and 3 have already had their naming conventions and local styles created as illustrated on the right side of the screen. Brand 4 has the theme created, but the naming conventions haven't been created yet. We will be going over this in this demo. To create a local style, you must first select the color, go into the fill menu on the right side of the screen, and click the style menu. Once you click on that, a menu saying color styles will open up. Click the add button, and a new window will pop up saying create new color style. This is where the naming convention comes in. In order to name a color, you must first type in the name of the brand, so brand4, forward slash primary, since these are the primary colors that we are currently naming, and the number of the primary color. So primary dash one forward slash the name of the color. This process is then repeated for the second color. In the case of this example, there are only four primary colors. So the last color will be named brand four forward slash primary dash four forward slash the name of the color. This process will repeat again for secondary colors as well. So the brand name comes first, forward slash secondary dash the number, in this case one, two, three, slash the name of the color. For instances where there is only one type of color, you do not need to number the color. For example, in the text over here, we only have one shade. So what you will do for the naming convention in this scenario would be to select on the color and firstly type the brand name forward slash the usage of the color. In this case, it is text. So the naming convention for the text in this case will be brand4 forward slash text. Since we have two background colors over here, the similar process of naming the primary and secondary colors will take place here as well, where it would be the brand name forward slash background dash one, and then for the other one it will be background dash two. And finally, we only have one feedback color, so it will follow similar steps as the text, where firstly you will type in the brand name forward slash the usage of the color. So for example, brand4 forward slash feedback. Now when we apply the theme switcher plugin, Firstly, you're going to go into your burger menu, open up plugins, and select on theme switcher. Once the window pops up, make sure you resync local styles. This will make sure that the most recent style that you created, which is brand 4, will show up. Then you can have fun and play around with the plugin however you please. If you select the apply to page selection, it will apply the brand colors to the entire page. If you would like to apply themes to only individual items, you can select the individual items and then go to the apply to selection menu. Then you can change around individual items based off of the brand colors. That's everything for this demo. We hope you enjoy your new plugin.